Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this men's classic crochet scarf which uh, has a sort of a faux knit look. I'll show you a piece of the scarf right here. And this is it right here. And you, as you can see, it looks a lot like knitting. It has a very clean, very classic looking design. There's no tassel, no fringe, just very, very simple uh, men's scarf. So that's what we're going to learn how to crochet today. This scarf is made with a yarn called Rapture by Sugarbush Yarns and it's absolutely gorgeous if uh, if uh, you've never had the chance to see it you definitely should check it out you can check out their website there and they have a variety of different colors this yarn is a llama and merino wool blend it's about 50 50 so it makes it super super soft with the warmth of wool and uh, for this pattern you're going to need two skeins of uh, your color A so for mine it was this smoky spirit gray color. You will also need uh, one skein of the Merlot Madness, which is this red, and one skein of the Boho Beige, which is this one right here. Uh, you will not use all of the skein in your colors B and C, but um, you will still need uh, at least three colors. This is a worsted weight yarn. You will also need a six millimeter crochet hook, and then of course a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for weaving in your ends. The written version of this crochet pattern can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, and I will have that linked in the notes of the video here for you. Thank you so much for joining me, and while you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So as we begin this pattern, just a couple things to note. This scarf is worked lengthwise. So oftentimes when you're crocheting a scarf, you would work the short rows, you would work uh, the widthwise. This scarf is worked lengthwise, so you're going to start with a fairly lengthy chain. In the video tutorial today, I am not going to crochet the entire scarf for you, but I will give you the tools and skills that you need in order to complete the pattern successfully and uh, I will uh, read the pattern for you although I will not crochet the entire thing I'll just do a swatch today it is a fairly easy pattern once you get the hang of it okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make your slip knot and if you are following along with the pattern you are going to chain 265 chains. This is going to make your scarf about 55 inches long. So if you'd like it longer, you can just simply increase your chain by any uh, multiple that you would like. So if you're following along the pattern, chain 265. Today I'm only going to chain about 21. There's 15 and 21. Again, you can begin with any length of chain that you'd like to make your uh, scarf a little bit longer. Uh, to make it about 55 inches, chain 265 with your color A. Then for row one, you are going to begin by single crocheting in the second chain from hook and in each chain across. So count in from your hook. There's the first chain. Here's your second chain. You're going to single crochet in that stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across to the end of your chain. You will have a total of 264 single crochet stitches at the end of your row. At 
at the end of row one, you are going to chain one and turn your work. Now for rows two to four, for the next uh, three rows, you are going to work in the back loop only. And to find your back loop only, you're going to take a look at the top of your stitch, as you can see mine here. At the top of your stitch, you have what look like these little V's. To find the back loop and crochet in the back loop only, you're going to insert your hook under the horizontal bar that is the furthest away from you. So there's these two horizontal bars that make that V. You're going to insert your hook under only one of those bars, and it's the one that's the furthest away from you. So in the back loop only, you are going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. To make your slip stitch, you're simply going to pull yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull your yarn through both, uh, both loops on your hook. That's your slip stitch. So you're going to work in the back loop only, all the way across, slip stitch in each stitch. At the end of the row, you will have again 264 slip stitches. For this pattern, you will always have a stitch count of 264 at the end of each row. So simply slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Then for rows three and four, you're going to repeat that process. Let me just get down to end of my row here. go. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then repeat. So find your back loop only, slip stitch, and each stitch all the way across. So you're doing this for a total of three rows. So at the end of your row four, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn. So now you can see, so I have my row of single crochet stitches, and then I have my three rows of slip stitches, and it gives you a bit of a ribbing, knit ribbing kind of look. When you come to row five, what you're going to do is again, continue working in your back loop only, and you're going to simply single crochet in each stitch all the way across. As you work this you will see that there is a pattern to your stitches. So you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Always make sure that you're hitting each stitch, not skipping any, especially that one at the end. Sometimes I find it pulls a little bit tighter. So single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row five, you're going to chain one and turn. Continue working in the back loop only. And now for row six to eight, you're going to, once again, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. So once again, work your three rows of slip stitch stitches. This will bring you to the end of row eight. At the end of row eight, you will chain one again and turn. So this is what your piece of work will look like. You can see I have my rows of single crochet stitches 
and then my rows of slip stitches that make that knit look ribbing there. Now for rows uh, 9 and onward, you are going to simply repeat rows 5 through to 8. So row 5 was that single crochet row, then 6, 7, 8 are your three rows of slip stitches, and you're going to repeat rows 5 to 8 a total of 6 times more. So I'm going to let uh, you do that, I won't be doing that today, but you're going to repeat it for a total of six times more. So if you take a look at my scarf here, if I count the ribbing that I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight raised uh, ridges there on my scarf before that uh, I change to my next color, to my color B. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do, go ahead and show you right now how I changed my color B. So once you come to the end of that repeat, you're going to repeat uh, rows five to eight, six times more, and then you're going to want to change to your next color. So how I change to my next color at the end of a row when I have used uh, just a slip stitch is, uh, at the end of row 8, I come to my final stitch, there I'm working in the back loop only, I insert my hook, and then I drop the color that I'm currently working with, and instead pick up your new color, so your color B, and I'm going to complete my stitch using that color, so complete the sti slip stitch using my new color. You can then pull your other one just a little bit tighter and you're all set to go to work um, the next rows in your color B. At this point, I can trim off the color A because I'm not going to be using it for a little bit and uh, then just continue on working with your color B. So when you come to uh, your next row after your repeat of six times, you're going to take color B and you're then going to repeat rows five through to eight uh, you're going to repeat that twice. So you're going to chain one, turn, then working in the back loop only, you're going to start with row five, which was a single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Working always in the back loop only. So work your row five, single crochet, each stitch all the way across, six, seven, and eight are your slip stitches, and you're going to do that repetition uh, twice. At the end of that, you're going to switch to your color C. With my color B, I'm just finishing up the second repeat of rows five to eight, and I'm going to want to switch at this point to my color C. So once again, I'm going to insert my hook in the back loop only of that final stitch. I'm going to drop my color B, I'm going to pick up my color C, and simply complete my slip stitch with that color C. I'm now all set to go on my next row. So then what you're going to do is you're going to chain one, and you're going to turn, for your next row, using your color C, you're going to work in the back loop only, and you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across using your color C. Single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of your single crochet row, you're going to chain one, turn, working in the back loop only, you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. You're still working with your color C. At the end of this row, you will be switching back to your color B. So in your color C, you'll only have worked one row of single crochet stitches and one row of slip stitch stitches. So 
So I've come to my last stitch. I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to drop my color C. I'm going to pick up your, uh, pick up my color B. And I'm going to complete that final slip stitch using my color B. You're then going to chain one and you're going to continue in your color B and work two more rows of those slip stitches. Okay, so working in the back loop only, work two more rows of those slip stitches. At the end of those two rows of slip stitches, you're going to switch back to your color A, which in my scarf is uh, that smoky gray that I started with. So at the end of these two rows of slip stitches, switch to your color A. So I'm now just switching back to my color A. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. And I'm now going to complete the rest of my scarf with my color A. And to do that, you are going to repeat rows five to eight one more time. So your row five starting with your single crochet row. Rows five to eight, so sing one single crochet followed by three slip stitch rows. And then as the very last row of your scarf, you're going to repeat with one more row of single crochet stitches. So to recap, working in your color A, you're going to repeat rows five to eight, and then you will end by repeating row five, your single crochet row, one last time. At that point, you can then uh, fasten off your uh, ends and you can weave them all in. If you so desire, you can block your scarf and then it is all ready uh, to wear. Congratulations and thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make this men's classic crochet scarf. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.